Welcome to today's special program, mm -hmm. honoring Waco ISD's 2018, 2019 retirees. Mm -hmm. uh, let's give a quick round of applause for the Waco High Jazz Band, the graduates with music this morning. They're not only Waco High's jazz band, they are the award-winning jazz band. So thank you. <laughs> this is sort of a bittersweet occasion because on one hand, we're saying congratulations and best wishes, while at the same time, we're saying goodbye to our coworkers and friends who have devoted numerous years of service to our most precious children in Waco schools. Uh, I want to tell all of you that although this entire group is here today, we have other retirees who were not able to be with us this morning. But it's important to note that the retiree class of 2019 has a combined 535 years of service. So congratulations to you. So today, as our retirees reflect, reflect on their years of service in our classrooms, in our offices, auditoriums, cafeterias, or anywhere else they may have served, it is our hope that the memories are filled with laughter, friendship, and multiple accomplishments. Your commitment to the children of Waco ISD is very, very much appreciated. And as you embark on this new stage in your lives, I hope that you will find fun feel, relaxing, and it will be full of many, many new and exciting adventures. It is my pleasure now to introduce members of the Board of Trustees who are joining us to help present the beautiful retirement awards this morning. Uh, Angela Tickle is our Board President. Would you please stand? Mr. Alan Sykes is our board vice president. Mr. Norman Manning is our board secretary. And board members, Carrie Dupuy and Ms. Stephanie Quarterwig are with us this morning to share in this celebration. I would also like to um, recognize all of our campus administrators and cabinet members who have also joined us this morning to celebrate this occasion. Would you please stand? Principals, cabinet members, and administrators. More importantly, family members who are sharing with our honorees. Uh, I know you've shared many mornings many late nights, many errands, and a lot of help in supporting our honorees, and we appreciate you, so would you stand out so? Family members. Thank you. Board members, would you please join me at the bottom of the stage to present the awards and give crew Congratulations to our retirees. At this time, I would like to ask Ms. Elaine Botello, Waco ISD's Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, to come to the stage and introduce our honored retirees. Good morning, everyone. Retirees, as your name is called, please come to my left, your right side of the stage, to receive your award and pause as I read your bio, and also let us get a picture with you and the board member and Superintendent Dr. Rowe. Our first retiree is Denise Clifton, Counselor, University High School. <laughs> Ms. Clifton, is retiring from Waco ISD after 32 years of service. Nine served in Waco ISD. 
Her fondest memory is all of the great friends she has made since she has been in Waco ISD and the bond that she has crafted with her students she has been so privileged to work with throughout the years. Ms. Clifton plans to do whatever she and her husband <laughs> feel like doing each and every day as they finish their coffee and have their fruit by the pool. Sounds nice to me. We've got, we got some extra gifts for you over there too. She plans to take a trip during the school year and spend time with her family anytime she wants to. <laughs> Denise is married to Larry Clifton, and they have three daughters, Crystal, Candace, and Camille, and four grandchildren. Mrs. Denise Clifton. Kimberly Dotsey, pre-K aide J.H. Hines. Mrs. Dotsey is retiring from Waco ISD after 26 years of service, 22 served in Waco ISD. Ms. Dotsey's fondest memory is, memory is following her educational passion and working in early childhood education. She received her bachelor's degree in early childhood education and her master's as well. She joined she enjoyed preparing students' growth and learning through differentiated instruction and social, emotional, and physical development. Ms. Dotsey's plans for the future are to continue to grow and learn in education through volunteering. In fact, recently, she volunteered in the distribution of the History of Waco coloring books, and she helped distribute those books throughout the district. Ms. Dotsey, and her late husband, Billy Ray, have two children and four grandchildren. Congratulations, Mrs. Dotsey. <laughs> Patricia Gobea, Spanish teacher, Cesar Chavez Middle School. Ms. Gobea is retiring from Waco ISD after 28 years of service in education, all 28 in Waco ISD. Her fondest memory is getting the AP Spanish program running for middle school with great success. Ms. Gobea's plans for the future is to complete her accounting degree. She has four children, Charity, Bianca, Daniel, and Diana, as well as 16 grandchildren. Congratulations, Mrs. Gobea. <laughs> Our next honoree, Jerry Johnson, Assistant Principal, Waco High School. Mr. Johnson is retiring from Waco ISD after 37 years of service in education, 26 of those in Waco ISD. Mr. Johnson's fondest memories are his coaching duties at University High School. Professional accomplishment was moving through the education system from teacher, coach, to assistant principal, and then to principal. His plans for the future include being a public servant and continuing to work and enjoy life. Mr. Johnson and his wife, Dr. Kenny Johnson, have two children, Jeff and Neil, as well as two grandchildren, Gavin and Addie. Congratulations, Mr. Johnson. Teresa Lloyd, Teacher, University High School. Ms. Lloyd is retiring from Waco ISD after 35 years of service in education, 28 served in Waco ISD. Mrs. Lloyd's
favorite course for students and community impact was environmental science because she enjoyed building the greenhouse at University High School with the Master Gardeners. She is also grateful for the encouragement of Principal Nolan Correa to complete the Texas Master Science Teacher Certification. Mrs. Lloyd's plans for the future include attending her daughter's wedding and taking a retirement cruise. From there, she plans to find a full-time job without homework. <laughs> Teresa and her husband, George, have four daughters and one granddaughter. Congratulations, Mrs. Lloyd. Ginger Lovelace. Mrs. Lovelace. Mrs. Lovelace is retiring from Waco ISD after 38 years in service in education, all 38 in Waco ISD. Ms. Lovelace's greatest memory is having former students reach out to her. Her first group of students are now 43 and 44 years old. <laughs> Mrs. Lovelace's plans for the future are to travel, spend time with family, read, and become a substitute teacher. I like that. Ginger and her late husband, John, have one son, one granddaughter, and another granddaughter on the way. Congratulations, Mrs. Lovelace. Gloria McCoy, teacher, Brook Avenue Elementary. Mrs. McCoy, we'll let her make her way down here. Mrs. McCoy is retiring from Waco ISD after 49 years. And wait, hold up. Mrs. McCoy's fondest memories include being selected as Teacher of the Year at South Waco Elementary, being called Stopper at Hillcrest PDS by Dr. Mack, having students master the fifth grade state test at Hillcrest, supervising future teachers at Baylor, and seeing former students come back and thank her for being a great leader. Ms. McCoy's plans for the future include sleeping in, <laughs> fishing, playing slot machines, <laughs> and winning, and spending more time with family at church. Ms. McCoy has one daughter and daughter-in-law, two grandsons, one great-grandson. She also has two brothers, two sisters, and several nieces, nephews, and cousins. Congratulations, Mrs. McCoy. <laughs> Dr. Mary Need Phillips, Assistant Principal, Lake Air Montessori. Dr. Phillips is retiring from Waco ISD after 36 years of service in education, 25 in Waco ISD. Dr. Phillips' proudest professional accomplishments have been developing a Montessori environmental studies program that continued from Doris Miller Montessori to Lake Waco Montessori to Lake Air Montessori, as well as being an advocate for their English language learners, 504 students, special education students, and GT programs. Dr. Phillips, plans, Dr. Phillips' plan for the future is to continue to enjoy the lifelong learning opportunities in Waco, Texas, and beyond. Congratulations, Dr. Mary Deed Phillips. <laughs> Patty Renault, Teacher, Mountain View Elementary.
Mrs. Renault is retiring from Waco ISD after 25 years of service in education. 20 of those years served in Waco ISD. Ms. Renault's fondest memories are the many friends she made and seeing her kids grow up to be great grown-ups. Mrs. Renault's plans, plans to learn to relax. She also plans to volunteer with her children volunteer with her children at their church and spend time with her family. Patty and her husband Jeff have two sons, Dylan and Jacob Renault, who are both Waco High School graduates. Congratulations, Mrs. Renault. Larry Renfro, teacher, coach, University High School. Mr. Renfro is retiring from Waco ISD after 25 years of service, all 25 in Waco ISD. Mr. Renfro's greatest accomplishments were being selected Teacher of the Year in the 2001-2002 school year at Cesar Chavez and coaching the 2013 Boys State Championship team. Mr. Renfro plans for the future are to manage the Austin Driving School of Waco and spend time with his wife of 42 years. Larry and his wife, Linda, have two sons, two daughter-in-laws, and two grandsons. And they are a Waco ISD family, too, because his wife and son work, and daughter-in-law work for Waco ISD. Wendy Schuler, teacher, Brook Avenue Elementary. <laughs> Mrs. Schuler is retiring Waco ISD after 24 years of service in education. 16 served in Waco ISD. Mrs. Schuler's fondest memories are the four Waco Education Foundation grants she has awarded in her 16 years in Waco ISD. Her last grant was especially exciting because they took 66 kindergarten, on an R, kindergarten students on an R Amtrak train, which was an incredible learning experience for the students and even some of the adults. Ms. Schuler's plan is to attend culinary school and to earn a degree in baking and pastry. Wendy and her husband, Kevin, have three children, Tyler, Dylan, and Megan. Congratulations, Mrs. Schuler. <laughs> Valerie Smith, Teacher Brook Avenue Elementary. <laughs> Mrs. Smith is retiring from Waco ISD after 39 years of service in education. 30 of those years served in Waco ISD. Mrs. Smith's fondest mem memory is teaching second and third grade at Doris Miller with Mildred Watkins as principal. Ms. Smith's plans for the future are to spend time with her 91-year-old mother and travel she and her husband, friends, have two sons and several grandchildren. Congratulations, Mrs. Smith. Dana Stanky, facilitator, J.H. Hines. Mrs. Stanky is retiring from WISD after 35 years of service in education, 28 of those years in Waco ISD. Her fondest memory is teaching and reading recovery program for 12 years. Ms. Stanky's plan for the future is to move to Fort Collins, Colorado. Next week, actually, to live with her daughter, son-in-law, and future granddaughter. 
Ms. Stanky has a daughter and son-in-law and a granddaughter due in July. Congratulations, Mrs. Stanky. Deloise Thomas Sims. Child Nutrition Services at West Avenue. Mrs. Sims is retiring after 24 years of service. Her fondest memories are working with her coworkers and being around the children. Her plans are to rest and travel in the very coming future. She has two daughters, Felicia Givens, Marquita Sims, as well as six grandchildren. Congratulations, Mrs. Thomas Sims. <laughs> Mary Valadez, Primary Literacy Aid, Dean Highland Elementary. Mrs. Valadez is retiring from Waco ISD after 26 years of service, all 26 years in Waco ISD. Her fondest memory is working with her friends and making new ones. Her plans for the future are to spend time with her daughter, grandkids, and great-granddaughter. She has a daughter, Misty Salazar, as well as two grandsons, Andre and Rafael a great-granddaughter, winner Elizabeth Salazar. Congratulations, Mrs. Valadez. <laughs> Patricia Williams, teacher, Dean Highland Elementary. Mrs. Williams is retiring after 25 years of service in education, one spent in Waco ISD. Her fondest memory was, was during the holidays. When she returned from Thanksgiving break, the campus had been fully decorated and each pod had its own decorated tree and the office had a fireplace with stockings. Her favorite part was the Christmas program presented by all levels at Highland Baptist. Ms. Williams is looking forward to making her own schedule. She hopes to travel some and spend a lot of time with her granddaughter, Sarah. Ms. Williams is married to Elicio Coto and her son, Christopher Coto. She has a son, sorry, Christopher Coto and a granddaughter, Sarah Coto. Congratulations, Mrs. Williams. And our last retiree for this morning, Vicki Willis, teacher, Brook Avenue Elementary. Ms. Willis is retiring from Waco ISD after 30 plus years of service in education. 30 served in Waco ISD. Some of Ms. Willis's fondest memories include the many events put on by the Waco ISD PE department, including the halftime football game fastest fifth grade runner and performing for partners in education. She also has many memories of attending Waco ISD as a student, including Jump Rope for Heart, Miracle Match Marathon, and helping her mom make bulletin boards when she was a kid. <laughs> Ms. Willis plans to, uh, uh, plan to teach for the state and continue her education to earn a master's in family counseling and a PhD in theology. That's great. Ms. Williams has three children, CJ Willis, Warren Christopher Willis, and Janae Victoria Willis, as well as one grandchild, Candace Cadence, Cadence Henry Willis. Congratulations, <laughs> Mrs. Willis. Let's give one big round of applause for all of our retirees. <laughs> you 
and I'm going to ask the board members to have a seat. And President Angela Tickle will come up and give closing remarks to our honorees. Mrs. Tickle. Thank you. I always have to control my emotions when I get around you guys because some of you um, were very instrumental in the lives of, uh, of in the life of my family and of my two boys. Um, Gloria McCoy I, just takes me back to when my son was in um, third, fourth, fifth grade at Hillcrest PDS, and she. I don't think I don't think Miss McCoy even had my son Coleman, but. Um, that's what a presence she was there at Hillcrest. And so when I see, um, and Dr. Phillips, I don't think you had either of my children either, but you ran the GT camp um, for a couple of summers and had such a huge impact. So all that's to say that each one of you are so special and you've made such a difference in the lives of our children. And on behalf of the board, I have to say that what we talk about a lot is, um, we know that it all happens in the classroom. And we know that it's about good instruction. And good instruction is about you. And um, it's very bittersweet, as Elaine said, because we're losing, you just listen to all, not only you've accomplished within our school district, but how rich your lives are and how curious each one of you are about the world and obviously lifelong learners. Um, and now many of you, I know retirements, it's, um, you know, I, when my mother retired, my mother was a, a, an educator and a lot of people said, enjoy your retirement. And it's, she thinks, well, what, am, what do they think I'm going to be doing? I'm not just going to go sit at home and, and um, knit. You know, y'all have, you're so curious about the world and now you are able, hopefully, to spend some time um, continuing your learning. Um, and like you say, don't have that homework. Um, I have to say, you know, I worked for a couple of years at University High School, and that's how I met a couple of you as well. And um, oh my, um, the work. I don't think anybody understands how hard this job is. And for you to talk about 20, 30, and 40 years of service doing this work, um, you know. It's, uh, I, I, I wish our, uh, our communities valued um, you as much as they should, because you really are the backbones, to, you're the backbone of our community. Our schools are the backbones of our community. Um, with all that being said, I have one challenge to each of you. Please don't leave us um, completely. While you're not going to be every day in our classrooms, we need you. We need your, you don't have to volunteer and you don't even have to substitute, although we would love that. <laughs> but, um, but talk about, um, tell the folks in your community and in your church and your friends and around um, how, how good Waco ISD is and about how they should have their children in our schools and about how our schools are safe and how they can receive the best instruction and education anywhere in Central Texas. And that's what I used to tell my friends um, when I chose to have my two boys go through Waco ISD, is I'd say, they're not gonna get a better education anywhere else. But I think we need, if all of you in the room, in this room today, just told someone else that, when you heard something negative about Waco ISD, that would make a difference. And then, of course, um, if you can volunteer or encourage your friends to volunteer, um, what a difference. If you're a reading buddy, um, anything you know, you know I'm preaching to the choir. Any, any volunteer that we can have in from the community uh, makes a difference. So that's my um, last challenge to you guys. Don't completely leave us because there's too much expertise in this room for us to lose completely. Um, so in closing, um, we will miss you. Thank you for your service. And um, on behalf of the board, words really can't, um, I'm not doing a very good job, I don't think, of relaying 
how important your service was to our children. So I have been asked um, to welcome you to uh, continue to stay, um, get pictures with your family and friends. And before you leave, we um, would like to give you the box for the award so it is um, easy to transport. Um, and the box is located at a table in front of the elevators. Is there anything else we need to add? All right, with that, thank you and enjoy your day. <laughs>